Hey, I thought I'd do a slightly more detailed video on how I use a bullet journal for real estate investing and wholesaling. This is just to keep myself organized throughout the day. Um, I used to use a yellow legal pad and have scrawl all over the yellow legal pad. The problem with that is that you have to leaf through pages to try and find stuff. The difference here with a bullet journal is that you can have an index and uh, the big thing is that you have numbered pages. So every page is numbered in here. And then uh, you can create an index. Some of these, you know, fancier ones will have an official index. This just has blank pages in the front that I adapt to an index. So you've got the inside cover and then you've got these two pages. So I just put stuff that I'm working on in business in here in categories. And then I put the page numbers after it and then I can find anything I'm looking for. Um, this is one I just get off of Amazon. I think the brand is called M Shoy. It's five and a half by eight and a half. Uh, it's a hard cover. You've got uh, you know a couple of ribbons here to, to keep different tabs. Sometimes if I'm having a meeting with somebody and I have a couple of different pages uh, that I want to refer to, I'll just use that. You've got a band here to keep track of where you are uh, any given day. You know, an elastic band. You've got a pen holder, which is kind of nice. And then they even have uh, they have pockets. Uh, this one doesn't have a pocket in the front, but it's got a pocket in the back. If you want to throw, like, I've got business cards in here from people that I've met and stuff at events. So um, I highly recommend this. You know, the biggest thing is that you have to use the index. You have to, you know, you can go through and work a little bit, but after you work for a couple, a few pages, you have to go back and put these pages in here so you know uh, what's going on. Um, and I have some basic topics, you know, I have like a daily log there. I've got mastermind. Uh, this is one of my team members. We've got accounting, uh, our dispo meetings. We have a lot of dispo meetings, so they're all over the place. Uh, acquisitions too. And then another team member that I meet with. Uh, is you know, a lot of topics that reoccur, team member, uh, vision, we got uh, finance, whatever. And then I even have... Uh, my personal side, you know, just different projects I'm working on. I have a section for books and podcasts and lectures that I want to keep track of notes on. Um, so yeah, that's the bullet journal. And I recommend it for, uh, if you like to write stuff down by hand and maybe transfer some of it to your computer, but not all of it. I mean, I, I'll do a notes page if I'm, you know, here's a call with somebody, here's a property I was analyzing, here's uh, another property I was analyzing. So I'll just have notes and then if I'm trying to like, where's that analysis? I can look here in my notes and look at the last couple notes pages that I have referenced by, um, you know, referenced by the page number. And then I can probably find that property analysis pretty quickly. So uh, if, you know, I don't like doing everything on the computer. I think differently if I have a pen in my hand and I'm writing on paper and I think that's true of other people. So that's why I recommend this to keep yourself organized. I do a daily, you know, daily page in here when I'm just keeping track of what I have to do for the day and uh, et cetera, et cetera.